Hi, I'm Murray and a big welcome to this course which is all about rolling your sleeves up and getting started in the kitchen. Now, while this course has been designed specifically to cater uh, to young people undertaking the Duke of Edinburgh skills section, it's also a great kickstarter for any young person who's interested in learning to cook. The course is divided into two parts, each three months long, so you can work it into your own Duke of Ed plans based around the time requirements of your other sections, etc. It will take a couple of hours each week to watch the clips and make the dish or all the dishes. First three months focus on some of our basic principles of cookery. If you decide to stick around for part two, uh, we'll be looking kind of more complex dishes that contain several elements per plate. And finally, rounding it all off at the end of um, part two with the two course meal at the end, it's, it's quite technical. This course is largely recorded material, which means you really can work on it at a time that suits you best. Okay, Once you've clicked complete the lesson, there'll be a seven day wait until the next le uh, lesson is released. And that's so that I can be sure that you've worked through the training in the required timescale for the Duke of Edinburgh scheme. So remember to click complete once you've been through the lesson. And you know, if it takes a little bit longer because uh, you, if you were sick or hockey or holidays or anything like that, then, then it really doesn't matter. There's no time uh, limit as far as we're concerned. We've got a Private Chef Academy Facebook group, which is a private group reserved just for our students. And you're welcome to join the group, post any pictures or feedback, uh, for feedback or ask any questions there if you get stuck. Uh, for technical uh, information regarding the platform or the account, then you can email mail at privatechefacademy.net uh, and I'll come back to you as quickly as possible. Now, the course consists of a lesson plan, which is laid out on this platform, a downloadable copy of our 300 page cookbook, which contains all of the recipes and the video demonstrations from our professional courses. Uh, it also includes a student workbook that's set up in the format of a cookbook. Okay, now you're going to personalize this cookbook as you work through the weekly lessons, adding in photos of your food and, and tweaking the, the look and feel of it. You'll be able to download the PDF version of this book to keep it. Um, and you'll need to send me this file so that I can assess your work and, and write your report. And there's an option to print the physical copy of your book through the Canva app as well. But um, I'll show you all of that in a separate lesson. And finally, I want to talk about the reoccurring principles of cookery. Now, the reoccurring principles of cookery are the Private Chef Academy's unique framework for teaching people how to cook. These principles form the foundations of our professional private chef courses, and they're based on the methods of cookery that you would kind of painstakingly work through in any formal culinary institution around the world. Okay, now this is a, a simplified structure that breaks down these nine traditional methods of cookery and reassembles these large chapters into 35 main reoccurring principles of cookery. Now, as this course is intended for Duke of Edinburgh students, um, people of Duke of Edinburgh scheme age, we won't be able to cover all of them, but we will be working our way through the majority and we definitely will be covering the most important ones. Now, if you decide after this course that you'd like to pursue a career as a private chef, then our advanced certificate in private catering could be the ideal option to follow on from this course. And we do offer quite a reasonable discount for Duke of Edinburgh students that have completed this course. But anyway, for now, uh, for each lesson, I've listed the reoccurring principles that are demonstrated by the dish that you'll be making. So you can take a look at that clip and really understand the foundation principle behind what you're cooking for that specific dish. As you begin to cook more and more, you'll start to recognize that these principles are reoccurring time and time again in, in all of the recipes that you cook. So we really are aiming to start building your cookery skills right from the foundation up. Now, with regards to any fancy equipment or whole range of gadgets for this course, I'll be looking at equipment that you might consider or more importantly, what not to waste your money on as we go along. So don't panic. I've kept the requirements for the course to a minimum. I'd say it's worth getting hold of an eight to 10 inch cook's knife or chef's knife, so sometimes called, and something to sharpen it with. A blender of some sort, whether it's a stick blender or a soup or a smoothie style blender like a Nutribullet. And personally, I quite like an electric whisk, but don't spend a fortune on a flash one. 15 quid from Tesco's will do the job for now. 
You'll obviously need the standard items that you'll find in most kitchens as well, such as an oven, hobs, um, a few bowls, pots and pans, and, and things like that. So that's it for this introduction. I'm really pleased that you're joining us for the next few months. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.